Hello and welcome to Translating with Omega T, an introduction to computer assisted translation. So you want to translate a given text into another language? Sure there must be some software to help you, right? And yes there is. The type of application is called CAT tool, where CAT stands for Computer Assisted Translation. A CAT tool will not translate the text for you, but it will help you doing the translation. And there's even free and open source software out there. One tool is named Omega T. What it does? Let's take a look. Here we have the English source document in LibreOffice. Now switching to Omega T, one can see the document got stripped on import. There is no image and also just very basic layout information. Basically it's just pure text so you can focus on the translation. After translating some parts I export the target document. In the end, your final document should look like a copy of the original document, the change in language aside. So, how exactly does the tool help me? A good CAD tool helps you in various ways. First, it strips all irrelevant information from the source. Second, it tracks all layout information, while not bothering you too much. Third, it creates a good and solid target document taking the source's information and pairing it with your translations. Besides those basics, a tool like Omega T may aid you with keeping track of segments that look alike, providing support with dictionaries and glossary, and finally keeping track of what you've done so far. In Omega T this is done by coloring segments. Okay, um, this all looks cool, but what kind of documents can I use? Omega T for example supports a long list of file formats, but for starters, newer Microsoft Office documents work fine, and documents saved with Libre and OpenOffice work great. The same is true for simple text files, and there are some more solid formats, for example PO and subtitle files. Then there are some file formats that may work, but it is better to convert them first into a better supported format. That's it. This was a very brief introduction to computer assisted translation. And now you should have an idea how CAT tools might help when translating with your computer. If you're interested, check out the next tutorial, which will be slower as we go into the details and especially into working with Omega T. Bye bye!